Hey there crew, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thanks for coming to hang out with me today. We're gonna to be playing with stuff inside of my ink box today. I am going to be doing something fun with my Dryden pen. We have a needle, syringe, because we're going to be replacing cartridge ink today to change colors in our Dryden fountain pen. Excited, because I've never done this before. I've been watching a lot of videos. It's not very hard to do at all. I think if anything, it's probably a little bit more intimidating than it is actually hard to do. So we'll be talking about this today. We'll be changing out the ink, cleaning things out, and then putting some new ink inside of our pen to be using in our bullet journal for this week. I mean, I have an entire collection of ink over here. So like like, I have to keep using it. I'll show you exactly how it goes, so let's get started. Okay, crew, so let's go ahead and talk real quick. I don't know that I've done a full review on the Dryden Fountain Pen, but this is actually one that they sent me. You can get these off of Amazon relatively inexpensive. And what's so great about this, not only is it a beautiful fine point pen, beautiful colors, but when you purchase this, you also get an ink converter, you get another top as well, but you get a ton of cartridges, which is fantastic, which makes it really nice and easy to replace black and blue as you're using these. One thing though that I haven't done yet with my entire fountain pen collection is actually refill my pen cartridge with ink, one of my own inks. I'm not saying that dried in inks are not good. I actually like them a lot. They've been working really well, but one of the fun parts about having fountain pens and fountain pen ink is using different colors. Not too long ago, I just got some really cool colors from Birmingham Pen Company, uh, and I did my entire pen swatch, and I'm going to be putting Apple Snail inside of my Dryden. Now, before we do that, we have to clean out the cartridge a little bit, and I'm gonna to talk to you about what I did to do that. One of the big things that we're going to need this round <laughs> are going to be some blunt and syringes. Now, I actually just purchased a few of these off of Amazon, and I'll put the links for you in the descriptions below, but we're going to be using these today to get that ink inside of there and also to flush out the cartridge. The great thing is that cartridges are relatively inexpensive, so you don't have to do this all the time, but cartridges are also a really nice and easy way to ensure that your ink isn't necessarily coming out of your pen as you're drawing with it. So this kit comes with the draw and then also with the syringe top here that actually screws right into the top of here. You can clean these out and reuse them as you need to, so we'll be using this today to do that. I also like to have a paper towel or some type of cloth out. This has my, been my like go-to <laughs> everything ink just to kind of catch anything if it happens. Now for the dried in, as I mentioned, just really love using this pen over the past few weeks. A beautiful, nice, fine point. And as you can see, once we open that up, we have the cartridge here, which is all used up. There is still just a little bit of ink inside of here. And when you first get these out, they might have a bit more ink than you want. Of course, since we're putting a new color like this apple snail, which I'm going to use today, we're gonna to wanna to get as much of that black out of there as possible. So I've done two things. The first thing is I've gone ahead and just kind of rinsed and gotten out as much ink as I could from this part of the pen. This is where all of the ink holds before it comes out of the tip of the pen. And I did that just by running it through some water until it ran clear. For the cartridge here, I just have a small little container of water. And what we're going to do is we're actually gonna take our syringe and we're going to fill this up with some water. Because if you run this underwater, just as a heads up, you can do that if you want to, but the thing is is that the vacuum seal that's a part of this isn't gonna really let that come out. So whether you're filling it up with water from your sink, you're then gonna wanna draw out. So what I'm doing is I just have water in my syringe here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and push that water in here. And I'm going to do that probably two or three times. The goal here is just to try to get out as much of that black ink as I can. I think I'm doing a pretty good job, but I always just like to really make sure. <laughs> all right, now, because of that vacuum seal in here, you see I still have all that water. We don't want that water in there either. So what I'm gonna do is just pull that out with my syringe and empty it back out into my little water reserve here. We don't wanna try to get as much of that as I can. You don't wanna have too much water inside of there. Uh, that way it's not watering down your ink that you have. So as much of that as you can get out, the better. You're also going to see a little tiny ball inside of here, and that's just gonna stay there. That's actually the ball that was originally holding the ink inside of here that kind of breaks that seal when you put it into your pen. So that'll always be in there and always just hang out while we're using this cartridge. 
you really want to make sure that you're also kind of clearing out your syringe. We don't want a whole lot of water in here. That's going to water down our fountain pen ink. So now that we have all of that, let's go ahead and get ourselves prepared to fill up this cartridge and get it into our pen and get things moving. So I'm going to go ahead and just mix up my ink just a little bit. It's a super cool color. Now this cannot fit a whole lot of ink inside of it. It doesn't say on the packaging exactly how much it holds, but it doesn't hold a lot, especially when you saw me just draw that ink and water out of here. It maybe only filled up kind of the tip of this here. So we're not going to fill this up a lot. We're just gonna go ahead and pull a little bit of ink inside of here. Probably more than we need. And we're very carefully, we're going to insert that and we're just gonna to start to push the ink right up to the tip of that cartridge there. So it's not all the way to the top, but it's almost there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just push out the rest of the ink that was inside of my syringe. We're going to put the top on our ink so we don't spill this. It's my biggest fear. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and take our pen nib. Make sure that fits right on top. And we're going to push it until it's nice and secure. Then we can go ahead and put back on the barrel of the pen. And let's grab some paper real quick and start writing with our new ink and our new pen. Once you put that new ink in there, it's going to take a few minutes for it to feed down your pen. You're also going to see a little bit of that wet, whatever color you had in there. And we're just gonna keep using it, holding it upright, as that ink continues to pull down the feed until we get our apple snail color out. One more thing I'm gonna try here, which hopefully should work for us, is taking your pen and just dragging it across a paper towel to draw out any extra water and ink that you see. Always to take out Paper Mind. This is a fantastic notebook for any type of ink and different types of pens. As you can see, I use this a lot for a lot of my swatches. And this is kind of like my little final go-to whenever I'm trying out some fountain pen ink. It's so interesting because the drying is so fine point. It's interesting seeing the color this way because I've used it with some other dip pens and some other types of calligraphy tips and they all look very different. So that's with the dried in. I'll show you real quick what this looks like with just a dip pen. So much is dependent on the different nibs, different sizes that you're using. You can even see in this case, it's the same ink. It just looks differently depending how it's laid out. The fine point is a very light color to it. The glass dip pen looks much darker. And then you have the B5 nib here with that motto line that looks totally different too. So I'm excited to continue to use this pen this week inside of my bullet journal with my new color. And I hope that you learned a little bit today and it wasn't too difficult and this made fountain pens a little less scary for you. Hopefully you feel a little bit more confident now with refilling and using fountain pens. This Dryden fountain pen is a fantastic beginner fountain pen to use. I actually have a podcast coming up shortly for the Hobbyist Hangout where we're going to be talking about fountain pens and a lot of the topics that we even covered today about feeling intimidated by them, not really quite sure how to do these things, I'm learning as well, and I feel like if I can do it, you can do it as well. We talked a lot about pens today and getting inks ready for our bullet journals. Don't forget, starting next week, I'm going to be having an entire series on brand new notebooks. We'll actually be using this dried in pen and the darker inks and trying them out in pen tests. We have so many notebooks to be testing out and getting you ready for the new year, getting ready for bullet journaling or just journaling as a whole. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So hopefully you are already a subscriber. If not, make sure you do and tap that bell and that way you'll be notified when we have all of the new videos coming out. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I'll talk with you later on. Thanks for hanging out today. See ya.